hello guys welcome to the new video today i'm gonna tell you guys about the basic tools and everything of z modeler if you are new to the z modeling you should be must watching this video because in this video i'm gonna tell you all the basic tools and stuff of z model so let's begin the video so first of first thing first i'm gonna go in modify tools and i'm just gonna go over the move tool so what this does it uh, just moves the axis which I want so here is the boy shell uh, if I want to move it like I'm just gonna select it and I'm just gonna select the axis on which I want if I select Y axis it will go up it will if I select X axis it will go right and left and if I select Z axis it will go up and down uh, pretty much with the move tool and there are two things in the move tool move axis only so if just i want to move uh, the axis of this uh, this object i'm just going to select move axis only and i'm just going to move the axis up and down i can move the axis up and down wait i'm just going to move the axis up and down see this i can move the up axis up and down so this is for the axis and there is affect children so what it does it just affects the children of the vehicle so if i select all of these these are the children of this uh, door if i select and move this the children's character affected so all of them moves in different way that's pretty much with the move tool uh, so if you want to move it normally i won't recommend this you would turn it off and you move you can move the whole load together wait what the fuck i can't move it yeah you can move the whole tool together so this is pretty much with the move tool let's head back into the rotate tool rotate tool is basically rotating the whole object so you can rotate it here you can rotate it y axis you can rotate it z axis you can do anything and rotate the stuff so there are three types rotate geometry rotate axis and affect children works the same i'm just going to show you guys real quick see it's getting affected the other parts the children's which are these are getting affected and moving in the other way so i'm just going to turn it off these tools are the most important if you just want to rotate the axis like this is the axis of this car uh, so yeah you can just rotate the axis as well so pretty much both of the tools are uh, same the move and the rotate tool now i'm just gonna go in the scale tool so uh for scale tool you're just gonna click there's no option for scale tool. so i'm just gonna scale it on the x-axis it's gonna go slimmer if I scale it on Y axis, it's gonna go short like on Y axis. If I just gonna scale it on the X axis, it will do like that. And if I wanna scale it on X and Y, you can select both of them and scale it a bit together. And if you wanna scale it on Z axis as well, you just press uh, shift and you can scale it on the every axis because you can't select the z axis over here if you select z axis these two axes will be automatically unselected so if you want to scale it on the all axis you just want to select these two and press shift while drag and drag out so you can scale on the every axis you want so yeah this is pretty much with the scaling tool so now i'm gonna just go with the delete tool what delete tool does it's the same the name is it just delete the item i wanted see it just deleted the item so yeah if, if i I've, i'm just gonna right click and it just deletes the whole stuff so yeah pretty much uh, this is with the delete tool so after deleting tool uh wait uh, let me get back in the hierarchy perfectly yeah so after delete tool you can see the flip tool what it does is select it and flip it it's just gonna flip the whole thing opposite 
you guys can't understand uh, I'm just gonna hide all of the other stuff I'm just gonna flip the main door so if I select this and flip it you can see it's just flipped on the X and Y axis right if I select this it's just gonna flip on the Z axis and stuff so yeah flip tools work pretty much like this so yeah you can see it just got flipped the whole thing just got flipped so that's it with the flip and this one more mirror it just mirrored the axis see it just mirrored the axis if I, I there are also three things affect children should be turned off in this as well if I want to mirror the geometry I'm just gonna select and mirror it it just got mirrored yeah that's pretty much uh, with the mirror tool and now I'm just gonna go in the select there are a lot of things to be known in this select if you go in the poly this select all of most of the selects work with polygon mode so I'm just gonna go in polygon mode and first of all I'm, I'm just gonna start with by name so with by name what it does if I go there and select what was the door, this was the door here. So it just selects this door. This works in the object mode. So if I see it's not selected, if I go and select my door, it will get selected. This works for the object mode. If you want to select a material, specific material, so go in the polygon mode, go by materials and select. This very much selects the vehicle spec map generic page one which is this so if you want to select by materials go go over there go into polygon mode first and then go over by material option and you can select any desired material you wanted to select and if you want to select a object you just gonna go there and select it by like this so you're gonna select this as well so that's what privilege the thing uh, now I'm going to tell you how you can select. I'm going to go on, on the single. So what it going to does? It just going to select a single polygon if you wanted to select. See, I I can select the single polygon. Why I wanted to select? I'm going to go in the separated and I'm just going to click over here one polygon and most of the polygon with the separated numbers will be selected. So this much with the separated and single polygon selection, quadrant polygon selector. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select and uh, wait. So I'm just going to select and drag it over here. So it's selected pretty much like that. And most of the things are pretty similar all just selected all of the polygons and this selected like pretty much like this most of the I uses these two tools most uh, in the selections this is the most I use and this is as well so now I'm gonna go over again in the modify optimization what it does it just optimize the polygons so if you want to create a lots or something you can optimize uh, polygons of low lots which gonna decrease the quality for sure but it optimize the vertices a lot vertices as well as polygons so i'm just going to select here optimization select all of the polygons and just select so i can select the quality of the optimization how big i want to 100 is the most 100 won't affect anything if you go downer the more optimizations will be done but the weekly model will be fucked up so if i go on like 30 you can see the mesh is pretty much fucked up there's a gap and stuff so you need to hit and trial and do stuff for it for lots but i recommend uh, using blender for uh, making lots so yeah now I'm gonna go for detach zoom. What it does, go in the first on the polygon mode. If I wanna detach this particular thing, wait. 
<coughs> if I want to dash this particular thing from here, I'm just going to select it. Enable track to new object for sure. This will be clicked. Keep originals. What it does, it will, it will for sure detach this polygon, but won't affect the main, main object. So if I hide this, so the object is pretty much done. So it makes a new object rather than taking object from the same object. All right. And if I turn it off and when I select this, if I detach, so you can see this is properly detached from the same object. It doesn't replicate it. But if I turn this on, keep original, it replicates the main object. So the main object is pretty much not affected. That's it with the detached tool. And uh, that's the convert tool and a lot of tools are there. So yeah, that's pretty much with the tools. These are the very basic tools. I don't want to make the video so long. So I'm just going to cover very basic tools and very basic things. So I'm just going to go and select now surface and uh, yeah we gonna move to the uv mapping if you want to uv map a thing so if i wanted to uv map this thing i'm just gonna go select the stuffs i wanted to uv map uh, i'm just gonna select the whole share sheet real quick Right, I'm just going to select by material because it's already you map. So you can select whatever you want. Uh, so we could underscore generate underscore detail too. So I'm just going to select all of these. So this is a pretty much vehicle detail tool. If I want to UV map this thing, I'm just going to go in surface, edit UV and click on it. And it will be on the key pole mapping. I'm just going to go into generate new xyz and force material into the mapping i'm just going to select the material i want to map on this particular thing i'm just going to hit okay it's going to take some time if it's a big object it's going to take a lot of time if it's a small object it won't take that much time so for now i'm i'm just going to go here and it's, it's the material i need to map so i'm just going to go in the material browser and select the vehicle generic spec map this is the radius file for it. I'm just going to hit OK. And this is the bump map and yeah, pretty much mask and the details back maps and stuff. I'm just going to hit OK. So you can select. It's been uh, mapped, but it's not been mapped properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click over here and go to go to UV mapper and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna click over materials and wait i think it's not mapped properly i did uv it's a generic back map page one I'm just gonna map it and go into materials and this will select so this is the pretty much map things of the vehicle uh Actually, it's so fucked right now because uh, I didn't map it properly. So, uh, wait a minute. I'm just going to select all of the required materials which I wanted. And just going to map them only so that I can show you guys. Mapping is a big process and which I usually do in uh, Blender rather than the Zmod. Because in the mapping process, Zmod sometimes sucks a lot, which I hate. So yeah, I hate uh, mapping in Zmart, but if it, it's a small thing, I usually map in Zmart. But most of the time, I, I I recommend you guys to map anything in Blender rather than the Zmart because Zmart most of the time sucks out, which I hate. So I'm just gonna select more important mapping stuff and. Yeah, we pretty much uh, selected the stuffs we need to map, and I'm just doing it a uh, very raw and not detailed because I just want to make the tutorial not that big and stuff. So yeah, 
if you have done that uh, so I'm just gonna do and select over here map and hit ok and I'm just gonna map the lower portion of the region so I'm just gonna go here and hit ok it's gonna go in front UV mapper and wait a minute I'm just gonna hit ok that's why I hate Zmod mapping so this is the pretty much mapper so go in the object mode select this and scale it uh, we'll scale I'm just gonna scale it a bit x and y axis smaller and just move it on the here and uh, yeah you can see the pretty much uh, mapping stuff is getting mapped I hate that's why I hate a uh, Gmod mapping I literally hate Gmod mapping because you can't literally map it properly so you can see anything you want it is will get mapped you just need to make sure you get the say get the same materials which you wanted to map so this will pre pretty much uh, map the thing if I map into this part this whole stuff I'm just going to select and scale it down a bit and move it here and just scale it uh, down a bit again and just going to move it here so you guys can see it's going to select you guys can see it will become a red part here. See that. So this red part is very much mapped on the whole chassis. It's just a basic thing. You can like give a lot of things to map and stuff in the blender, but it's like a uh, very much. Uh, I mean, Zmod sucks a lot in the mapping stuff. So yeah, this is pretty much the mapping. And if you wanna get a pretty much, uh, you wanna get a lot of things. So if you wanna map a lot of things, you should be going with the blender. And if it's a uh, very small things, you just need to map uh, small things. So it's uh, you 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 could uh, try it in the Zmod. But if uh, but to be honest, Zmod sucks a lot in the mapping. So I'll I'll recommend you guys to map it in the blender so i'm gonna make a tutorial of mapping in blender as well really soon so that's it with the, this video i hope you guys liked it uh, join my discord if you have any queries or join my streams ask me a question on my stream when i'm live on the youtube or join my discord to for any further queries uh that's it with this video thank you guys for watching have a good day bye bye see ya